Hello. In this video, I'm going to go over uh, detecting bot traffic uh, in your uh, Google Analytics 4. So in Universal Analytics, you could filter on IP addresses, you could filter on lots of things to filter out bot traffic completely out of your instance. Uh, Google Analytics 4 uh, filters out known bots and spiders, but uh, there is still uh, the possibility of getting bot traffic in your Google Analytics 4. Um, in fact, um, as you can see here, uh, it can really skew your traffic numbers. So in this case, what I'm looking at here uh, is I have a, uh, I've set up, this is the best way to detect bot traffic, is to come in and look at your overall sessions. So just take a view at your overall sessions Right. Uh, and you can turn on anomaly detection if you wish. Uh, but when you get a significant amount of bot traffic, you're really going to see it even without anomaly detection. So you can see this, there's a big spike in bot traffic and then there's an even bigger spike in bot traffic today, right? Um, now, uh, this little spike, you might like to think uh, that that was an increase in uh, traffic, uh, but, um, but uh, as we'll see very clearly, it's not. Um, there are a couple of ways to look at this. Uh, to detect bot traffic. So there's no flag for bot traffic. Google tries to filter out all the bot traffic that it knows about. Uh, one thing is if you go in and you look at the city of this, uh, if the cities look suspicious, um, then uh, you may very well uh, be getting bot traffic. So let's go ahead and take a look at cities. <clears throat> okay, cool. So cities loaded here, and you can see here that these are probably not uh, cities that uh, they're not legitimate cities. And then of course this, this spike is so obviously uh, bot traffic, right? So you can see here, there's some suspiciously high uh, city traffic here. Um, one big one is Ashburn, uh, Ashburn, Oregon uh, is a big source of bots. That's where uh, a lot of AWS bots live. Um, so bots that are running on Amazon web servicers, right? Um, and then there's some other ones here that you can see as well. Okay, well, that's not buck stopping and there's no way to filter on that because we wouldn't actually want to filter out everybody from Fort Worth, right? Um, which is where I grew up, interestingly. Um, so that's funny. Um, so what can we do here to, to, to verify that these are bot traffic? Well, another one is to look at the device that they're looking from. Now, this also is not bot stop, buck stopping, but you can see if you see a big spike in not set on your sessions for devices, uh, that is almost certainly bot traffic, right? Uh, okay, cool. So let's get to the one that we actually might want to filter on, right? Uh, and that is this, the operating system. So you can see here that Linux is the operating system for these, right? Now, um, nothing against Linux. I've used Linux myself for coding and everything, uh, but uh, there just aren't that many people using Linux to access your, uh, to access your uh, store. Um, there's just not going to be a ton of people using Linux. So if you see a big spike in Linux traffic, that is bot traffic, and the that is the thing that you want to use to filter it out. So what you're going to do is come in here and go operating system is not, uh, does not exactly match Linux. Cool. And if we apply that, we'll see here that my big spike in traffic goes away. Right. Um, so there is a little spike in iOS traffic. Uh, this is actually expected. Um, so you can see here if we had just filtered out that day or something like that, uh, that might have been a problem because this day here, there was an increase in traffic. There's just also an increase in bot traffic. You can see there's not been an increase in, in regular traffic today. So there's an uncorrelated increase in traffic, um, but just it was hidden by the uh, big spike in bot traffic that we saw those days. So uh, that's the best way that I have found to filter out uh, bot traffic today in Google Analytics 4. All you can do is filter it out of the reporting. We can't create a report to actually eliminate it, um, but you can filter it out of your explorations like this. You could create a segment if you wanted uh, as well to do the same thing. Um, so make sure you do that because obviously this is going to affect your conversion rates uh, and all sorts of uh, stuff like that. Uh, so, uh, hope you find this useful. If you do check out our, uh, YouTube channel, subscribe to this YouTube channel, uh, and, uh, take a look at our AI chatbot where we do try to filter, uh, out, uh, spikes in bot traffic and things like that, uh, from the, uh, from the GA4 data set, 
that we use in the Copilot. Cool. Thanks for watching and talk to you later.